Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to replace the intake manifold gasket on your BMW E90, E92, or E93. So there's actually a ton of different reasons why you're going to have to replace your intake manifold gasket on this vehicle. Basically, anytime you have to remove this intake manifold for maintenance, such as replacing your starter or accessing your brake vacuum pump down there, or really just even to solve any vacuum leaks or anything like that, you're going to have to replace the gaskets that lay across the intake manifold. So last time I removed this, I actually did not replace the gasket. So right now we're going to go ahead and remove it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to swap out the gaskets on this. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the engine cover. It's just held on by three 10 millimeter bolts, but I only have the front ones installed for ease of removal. So uh, yeah, go ahead and pop those off. Let's make that happen. Sweet, so now our engine cover is removed. So let's go ahead and remove all this shrouding and everything else so we can free up space for the intake manifold once we remove it. And we are gonna have our cabin air filter held on. It's be four eight millimeter bolts. I already have them all loosened, but yeah, let's go ahead and pull that off. Sweet, and then from here we're going to go ahead and pop off these clips and go ahead and remove these covers. And same thing over here. So now from here we're going to have our two electrical connectors that are held into this. So you're literally just going to push on this side clip and pull that connector out. And then over here guys we're going to do the same exact thing, press down on the clip and pull out just like that. Go ahead and pull off that wiring bundle. So go ahead and remove that, just pull out. Oop. And then from there, you're literally just gonna pull out where the cabin air filter sits. Sweet, and so from here, we actually have our engine freed up. So now we have the full length of the intake manifold that we can go ahead and remove. And really to replace these gaskets, you're not gonna have to actually remove the whole manifold. We're literally just gonna go ahead and unbolt it, tilt it back, and then just remove the little gaskets from there and install the new ones. So don't even worry about having to remove this whole entire thing. And since we're already back here and we're going to have that hose that connects to the manifold at the bottom, let's just go ahead and remove this hose. It's going to be a pinch connection and you're really going to pinch both sides and back it out. And we're literally just going to go ahead and pinch right here on this side and on the opposite side you'll feel the grooves. You may have to rotate the hose a little bit, but you're going to pinch on this underside and then pinch right here and pull out. Then pull out just like that it is now removed. And then to remove those bolts, you're going to need an 11 millimeter socket. And it's going to work better if you have an extension on here. And yeah, really just go ahead and start removing these. Nuts right here. Go ahead and pull that off. And for this style right here where it has the nut over top, an 11 millimeter deep ball socket is going to work best. Just make sure you do not drop these. Sweet, and then you should be able to just pull it out after that. Cool, so now we have all of our bolts and our nuts placed uh, basically in order that we took them out from front to rear. I always kind of do this little technique uh, just so I don't get confused on where I placed anything, but yeah, here we have them all. So we can actually grab it and actually start to move it, but we're actually not gonna touch it yet. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is loosen uh, this little V-brace that we have going on because it's gonna bump in the back if we try to pull out the manifold from here. And it's really gonna be an E14 socket that's gonna slip right on top of here. And then you're literally just gonna go ahead and loosen this. Sweet, I'll put this off to the side. Cool, and now from here, this should just slide right out of place, just like that. So we'll go ahead and put this off to the side with all of our other hardware. Bam. And now one thing you can do is go ahead and remove this air box, because you can actually see right here, the air box is going to bump into the side of the manifold, so we actually need to go ahead and remove this. It's super simple. Let's go ahead and get our 10 millimeter socket right here and go ahead and remove these two little bolts that we have. Cool. And there's the first bolt and washer combo. And there's our second one right here. Bam. Sweet. Now from here we're literally going to pull off our mass airflow sensor. Disconnect the harness. Sweet, now go ahead and pull off your little snorkel. Now from here, we're really gonna pull off that boot, just pull it back, and we can go ahead and remove this whole air box. Bam, just like that. Go ahead and put it off to the side. And so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this little check valve hose, or this little brake booster hose. We're gonna push in these two clips and pull it off just like that. 
And then to free up even more space, we're gonna go ahead and get our 10 millimeters and remove our power steering uh, reservoir right here and just move it off to the side. Sweet, and then here we have our two little nuts and washers off of our power steering pump reservoir. And so now we're just gonna go ahead and wiggle this thing up, move this hose out the way, just like that. And then move it off to the side. And another thing to keep note of is on the inside, you're gonna have these little barrel uh, pieces. Go ahead and get those off right now because you don't wanna lose those. They actually hold this thing in place. Sweet, so right now we should have ample room to actually remove our intake manifold. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that this is basically all you need access to is actual gaskets right there. Uh, this should actually suffice. We shouldn't have to actually fully remove this. Uh, it's kind of tedious. There's stuff that's holding it in from the bottom. You literally just have to peel it back enough to get the new gaskets on. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put our new gaskets on. Sweet, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and pull off our intake manifold gaskets. Uh, we're trying to use like a flathead screwdriver or something to pull these off. Sweet, let's pull it off just like that. Bam, now you're gonna do, literally do the same exact thing for all six of these. Sweet, so now we have all six of our little intake manifold gaskets removed, so let's go ahead and grab the new ones. And now courtesy of Amazon, I was able to get the OEM ones for about 20 bucks with next day shipping. Beck and Arnley, uh, right here. And yeah, we're basically just gonna slip these on. I'll leave a link for these down below. But they're about 20 bucks and they came next day, so I really can't beat that. And now to put these on is pretty self-explanatory. The same way you remove the other ones, you're just gonna slip these into the little chamber in the intake manifold. And it's really gonna slip in just like that. Just make sure that they're all fully seated into all the little grooves. But it's gonna look just like that. Go ahead and do that to the rest of them. As always, I hope you guys found this video helpful. So now you guys know how to replace your intake manifold gaskets to stop any vacuum leaks or anything of that sort. If you found this video helpful, go and smash that thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all in the entire process. As always, I'll leave a link down below for the equipment and the gaskets that I used. If you're not subscribed, go and smash that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell to stay updated on more videos. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, guys.